ladies. I hope you're all well. So hopefully you all know about Cricut's new foil transfer system. It is amazing. I will link my uh, video in which I explain all about it in the description below. But today I wanted to try foiling with print and cut on some vellum as well. So this is just a gatefold uh, card which I've got from Etsy and I'll link to that in the description as well but it's just a standard gatefold card. And then I have created what's going to be my vellum inserts. So this strip is just going to be a strip of card that's going to hide the glue where my vellum is obviously put in my card so that it can uh, be turned so you can see what's underneath it. And then I've got some foil and some print and cut that's going to go on the front. So this is foil, it's the font base camp. And I've just chosen a fine foil tip and I'm gonna do it in the teal. And then invited is the font Chloe. And again, I've done it in a fine foil tip. And I've added a heart there which I have chosen as fine. We've got the font Kate Basics here. And then this font, which I talked about in the last video, is Carly Sketch, and it's absolutely brilliant. So if I just zoom out or make it bigger, you'll see there are actually inside areas to those letters. If I change my foil to a bold tip, and I then reduce it down, you're going to get the effect effect that the foil is actually coloured in. There is no way you can actually colour in using the foil system, very similar to pens, you can't colour in pens on the machine, but if you find a font that's got kind of these inner embellishments, you can create, especially with this bold tip, the effect of that it's coloured in. I've used giraffe for my name, again that's going to be foil and I've used Folk Art Festival for my 40th, and again, that's going to be in foil. And then I've just got two images from Design Space. So if we go to Shapes and get a score line, I want to make my score line 5.25, which is the same as my vellum sheet. And I'm just going to add it there because on an invite you would normally have an, a vellum sheet and then underneath it you would have all the details. I'm just going to hide my score line and hide all my text. And that leaves me with my two images. Now I am in the realms of print and cut size so I don't need to worry. So all I'm going to do is highlight and I'm going to flatten those images to my vellum. So flattening to a background means that it will print them as you see it, but it will only actually cut this outline. So I can bring my score line back and then start bringing back my text. And then all that's left for me to do is draw around and attach. I've then got my RSVP. And again, I think I'm probably gonna do that in vellum. So I've just moved my writing out of the way for a moment. I've got a print and cut image from Design Space. So all I'm going to do is flatten that. So again, it will print it as you see it, but it will only cut out the square. If I change the line type, which is currently set to draw, to foil, and let's do bold. If we make it a little bit smaller, we're going to end up with that effect, but it's still quite patchy. And if I go really small, but actually I want it bigger. So on this occasion, I'm going to change that to a fine. So then you'll actually see all that lovely detail in there. And then all I need to do there is attach. So that is what my invite will look like. So if we go to make it, You'll see we've got our two print and cuts, which are going to do it on the same sheet of vellum, which is fantastic. And then it's saying, so it's saying print, score, foil fine, foil bold and cut. So even though these are two separate pieces, I can do them all on the same sheet and Design Space is going to keep them on the same sheet 
and it's going to know when it needs to cut, which I think is brilliant. And then we've got this one as well, which is just a cut. So we can go to continue. I'm using my maker, but of course you can print and cut on your explore. So your explore machines and your airs. And you can also use this foil transfer system in your explores and the airs as well. So it's just brilliant. So I've got my Canon. I'm going to turn the bleed off and also I'm going to put my system dialog on. I'm going to send print and then my dialog box will come up. I'm going to select preferences. And then I always change my media type to photo papers glossy just because if I'm putting in anything other than a normal copy paper into my machine it jams. On paper glossy it seems to be absolutely fine. And then I'm going to change the print quality as well to high. And then we can print. Now I'm actually going to cancel this. You'll understand why in a moment. So if I go to cancel. Yes, I want to cancel the cut. And yes, I want to cancel the cut. I'm going to come in and first of all detach those items and detach that as well. And then I'm going to unflatten. And I'm going to get rid of those print and cut pieces. And then I can just send those back and again I can just attach them back together. The reason I'm doing this is because it's going to keep those print and cut guidelines on. I've obviously flattened to my sheet so I am going to manually cut the shape that I'm working within and then I can go to the next step and add my foil. If I keep the print and cut scan lines on it's going to end up a bit messy with the foil and then when it comes to cutting it's all going to be confused so I'm just going to take that out. You could get all the way to the end and then not cut and then manually cut uh, but I'm actually just going to do it this way because I think it's easier. The other thing if I left it as a print and cut I wouldn't have been able to really choose where everything went on my mat. Now I can move them around which as we know is quite important because you want to make sure your tape and your foil is not going to go under the black rollers and you also want to make sure that you leave space in your foil so that the tape isn't going to interfere with the foiling process and so I just think it's a lot easier to do it this way. So you can see it's score, foil fine, foil bold and cut on our vellum. So I'm going to browse all materials and I'm going to select vellum. So first things first I need to put my scoring wheel in. And then I need to load my mat. And just a tip as well, if you make sure that your mat is always pressed against one of the guidelines if anything ever does go wrong and you don't want to start the whole project again, chances are, it's not foolproof, but chances are if you've had it right across, you stand more of a chance of lining things up. So the first thing it's going to do for me is score. So if we look at the screen, it's telling us we need to put the fine tip in and add our aqua foil. And add my tape. It's asking me to put my thin foil tip in, which has got the one line, so I'm just going to place that in and then close my B clamp So 
So now it's telling us to remove the aqua and to add our purple. because the bowl tip's going around about here. So rather than taking this off, I'm just going to leave it where it is. But I am going to change my tip. So I'm going to press down on my housing to release. And then I've got my tip that's got the three lines, which is the bold. I can just place that in and let the magnets do the rest. And then add it into my blade clamp. So yeah, I'm going to manually trim these only because obviously with the print and cut element, I self trimmed. So I think I'm going to trim them rather than cut them by the machine, just in case any detail gets lost. absolutely love this foil transfer system it is fantastic so much you can do with it I've got so much in my head that I want to do and want to try and experiment so I'm super excited for what the future holds with this if you have any questions or comments please do leave them below and I'll see you all again soon bye